this video requires you to um, take notes. This uh, video clip is about some important concepts. So I want you to go back to basic by pausing this video and go and get a pen and your paper notebook ready. So as you listen, you take notes. Now here are the very important concepts that you must be very clear before you start write your first line of HTML code. So the first one is web programming language. Now when the teachers or the textbook say web programming language, it can mean any one of these or even more. Okay? And we are learning HTML at the moment. The next concept is web authoring package. Now web authoring package are software applications that allows you to create or produce web pages without writing HTML code. And these package are called the two samples are Macromedia Dreamweaver or Microsoft front page. In IGCSE exam you will need to use either one of them to test your um, work. Also the textbook may sometimes use the word text editor. So text editor means uh, can be notepad. So in our computer you can go and come here and you can put in notepad and once you click open the notepad is here. So this is where you write your HTML coding here. So you can use Notepad to write your code. And Notepad is one of the text editors. In fact, you can use any word processing application that allows you to save your text file with HTML at the end. OK, now we can check and see if Microsoft Word allow you to do that. So you come here Microsoft Word and then you come save as. Now you choose here Word document Adobe open document test other format other format and are uh, here documents template So no, so this Microsoft Word 2007 does not allow you to save your coding in HTML. Therefore, you cannot use Microsoft Word as your text editor. So you have to stick to Notepad. Okay, because in Notepad, you can save as HTML. The next one when the textbook mentioned web browser it means any one of these now depending on what software you use or what computer you have okay and um, the computer i'm using right now i have internet explorer or mozilla firefox or google chrome so these are the browsers that will look at your work that can open your HTML code as a website. So web browsers are software applications that will open a website and they will also help you the HTML writer to see your work. And when the textbook and the teacher mention web browsers they can mean any one of these and you should look for it from all programs here and then you open it. So now I want you to pause your video and see if you check in here on your computer which web browsers you have on your computer. So on three you pause and then perform. One, two, three. Now I continue. Tags is another important concepts that you will see all the time 
these are tags okay tags always come in pairs and they always have sharp angles in between is what you want to show on the internet this is called close tag this is called um, the stock tag and they are all come in pairs so this tag tells the browser what to do with the test here okay and this tag tells the browser to stop whatever they do to here okay and they were very important notes the tags must be written in lower case this will in fact enable you to convert your tags your HTML codes into X HTML codes much quickly okay and also one typing error may cause the web page not to function so when you write the HTML coding you must type very carefully so that you don't uh, make mistakes and sometimes I can tell you if you show something like this and the website is not going to work okay so you must have this bracket here or if you have this one that can be a mistake so that will cause the website not to open okay so this is the end of this video recording thank you